Have you done any study? He led them what? By pillar a fire night and a cloud by day. Do you understand what that is? They move around in the desert. The desert is a strange place. It can be hot as a firecracker in the morning and cold as I don't know what at night. God watches over his own. Don't ever let nobody tell you, baby, I can take care of you, you know. I understand, you know, I can do that. No, no, nobody will ever take care of you like your father would when he lead you by the hand. God of mine, I don't think y'all hear that this month. You don't have to worry about what the world is saying or what the economy is talking about because your hand is in your father's hand. He told you nobody can pluck you out of his hand. You can jump out, but you can't be plucked out. Help me somebody. See what I'm saying? I will watch over them to pluck up. In other words, I'm going to get rid of the dumb stuff. How do we know that? Sure, you read John 15. He said, now, I'm sorry, he said, some of y'all, I'm going to prune you. Didn't he say that? Yes, sir. Y'all read anybody? Yes. I am what? I'm the, I'm the branch. What are you? You know what I'm Hey, break it down. We twist it up. What is that now? See, I have to be in charge. You must draw all of your substance from me. Because well, yes, there's a fellow out there that says they call him a bramble bush in the Old Testament. Saying he wants to everybody to rest under his shadow. Except old thin bramble bush don't have no shadow. It's a fake. Then he wants you to build on his little limp. His little limp vine. You can't do it. You can draw all you need from the true vine. You are what? The branches. Where do they get their substance from? The vine. The true vine, not the garbage out of it, not people talking crazy, telling you this, that, 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 that. You have to listen to the word. More young men and more young women got in trouble because they didn't listen to God's word. The world said if you got it, flaunt it. Isn't that what they say? But God says dress it in modest apparel. And then folks, you still got it. And what they can't see, they can imagine more than you can ever show them. That's just no charge. They can. Oh, absolutely. Hey, sometimes you show it, you might not be the head. I better leave that there. <laughs> Amen. It ain't all that is. You know, I thought it was, you know. See, but see, if one, hey, I'm sorry. I'm just being real. You see what I mean? And see, see, I'm going hey, to pluck up and to break down. See, we don't like to hear that, but sometimes God will never break you down where he will not heal you back up. But an enemy, when he breaks you down, he's going to keep you down. Because he has a closed hand. He doesn't have anything to build you up. And to throw down. Throw down means anything in your way that's not supposed to be a part of what he has for you, he's going to throw it down. Whether you like it or not. Now that's what y'all to shout about. He's going to throw it down. I know some of you won't. I, I want to be a husband. I want me a wife. Wait a minute. Be cool. If you try to get what you want, he's going to throw it down. When you guys, it's like I have to tell some of you young ladies and young men, you cannot marry an infidel. No, he ain't going to let you. You may walk down the aisle with him, but I guarantee you ain't going to stay with him. Because God don't play that. In other words, the gifts I've given you is not for Satan's children. It's for the upbuilding of my own kingdom. Check me out in the world. Go ahead and try to do it. How many of your friends tell me, I, 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 I just couldn't wait to get married, so I went on, got married, and, and now I'm divorced, and that man going on, and I didn't wait on God. I should have waited on. But still, even then, stop crying. Put your hand up and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Take my hand again. Lead me. Guide me. You see, everywhere where I should go. And if you do that, and, and understand that he will do it, and believe me, you can have more fun with God than you'll ever have with the devil. If y'all don't understand that, it's right here. I want you to hear. See, he'll break, he'll throw it down. And to destroy. Sometimes God has to destroy. Because let me tell you something. God is not going to let you do anything you want to and become a walking billboard for Satan. If you don't listen to him, he'll take you out of here. And I can show a lot. Of, I can tell you about a lot of preachers that didn't listen and they ain't on earth no more. It's the truth. In other words, 
I gave you the gift. They're without repentance. But you're not going to take my gift and pimp me and the world with it. Can I preach a little bit this morning? Because God don't play that. I'm the one who gave them to you. You can't let nobody else tell you what to do with what I gave you. And too many times, even my young lady think you surrender that which God. How did Samson get in trouble? It didn't get in trouble because he really said, I saw a woman get her for me. That's natural. You can admire a woman, but you ain't supposed to put the make on. What happened to him is when he told her everything that was in his heart. In other words, that which God had given him, he gave it away to Satan for nothing. They're getting quiet on Yes. Little things that you don't think that much. That wisdom and knowledge that God has given you, you throw it away so easy. Isn't it what he wants you to do? Well, I didn't think it was that much. Hey, you might be the only one that can bake a cake like that. I don't know. You just throw it away with nothing. Then the man, the devil, take it and open the shop, and you sitting there, one gave it to him. You should have been the one that did it. Help me, somebody. Can I? Can I go on anyway? You see what I'm saying? They break down, throw, destroy an eye, and to afflict. I, I mean, sometimes don't always blame the devil. Sometimes we get so far out of the will of God, he had to kind of get our attention. And I don't think that everything belongs to God. See, a lot of things we do of our own free will. He did give us to us. And what happens is the minute I back up and you back up according to his word, the Father, I've sinned. Have mercy upon me. He takes you right by the hand again and what? Pulls you right up out of that sin. Give you a brand new start. That is the beauty of Christianity. So will I watch. Listen at this now. So will I watch. I know a lot of preachers try to make the, the, they're the watchman. We only care the title of a watchman. Yes. He the watcher. Anybody hear what I said? Did, 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 did we say, so will I watch over them to do what? To build and to plant, saith the Lord. Only God can do that. He wants to build you up. That's why we must pray for our children. We have young people that are not afraid to step up for the Lord. We have to pray for them. They need, you don't have to worry about them because God's going to take care of them, but you must do what he says. As long as you're bringing them to where the Lord is, God will be with them. Now listen, it ain't me saying, in those days, they shall say no more. Now listen very clearly. The fathers have eaten a sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on edge. In other words, we don't have to pay no, hey, I thought what they did, that's what they did. See, when you begin to understand that, God will hold them accountable for what they did. Yes, sir. Maybe your father didn't treat you as you thought he should have. Don't blame, don't blame uh, God. You trust him because God said, whatever he did, I, it, it really bothers me when some folks say, well, he got to get like his daddy and mommy. No, you made that decision yourself. Whatever sin they did, they did it. God got it already written down. But you don't have to do the same thing. I've seen many people come from horrendous backgrounds, but they don't have to do the same thing their father or their mother did. But the minute they begin to hear the word of God and know that God can take them by the hand no matter where they are and lead them out of that sin, you need to get a hold of that church because he said, I took you by the hand. I haven't given up on you. I said, my son, I'm letting you know even I'm still with you. But now, you got to, let, let, let's let him. And see what that means, children? That's possible for your teeth to get set on edge. If you decide, the etymology of that, if you sin, you're going to get the sour grapes and the, and the repercussions of that. I'm sorry. As beautiful as he prayed, let him go home and don't do what he said. A mom or dad, somebody going to hit him on that little backside there. See, that don't mean, that's just normal. But you're supposed to correct them according to the Lord. And that way it will always be with them. There are things that I didn't even want to hear my mama said to me, but now they come to me. And they, and they begin to make sense to me. And as I read the word, I, I know what she was trying to do. Listen, 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 listen. But everyone, hear this church, if you don't hear nothing else, they, but everyone shall what? Die. What is it? For his own iniquity. 
I'm sorry. Don't let anybody tell you in there, child, you just like your, 